Welcome back, this is Miguel Myers and in this third video I'll show you how to easily apply formatting to transform these metrics into a dynamic multi-scorecard. The first step to transform a typical matrix into dynamic multi-scorecard is to remove all style applied by default, so it's easier to apply its format. I'm going to show you all the options I personally use so you can follow the same style or feel free to experiment with your own style. Now that all basic formatting options are applied, it's time to add conditional formatting to transform the visual into something cleaner and much more appealing. By adding the new DAX measure that's very similar to the previous one used, it gives us more control of the color and functionality of each element within the matrix. Value 1 and 10 will be presented with a static color Value 2 and 3 will dynamically change color depending on the week over week variance. Value 4 will display a secondary static color. Don't forget to filter the channel so you can apply conditional formatting to each card. Now let's apply the conditional formatting to the background color. First, we'll select Formats by Rules. Next, we have to decide what field we want the format to be based on. Let's choose the DAX measure we just created. We'll specify a color depending on the parameters contained in our DAX measure. And once complete, this is how it will look. To improve our new car style even further, it's important to apply some conditional formatting to the font color also. But this time, we're only gonna modify the color assigned to the week over week variance value, and we'll leave the rest alone, keeping them as they are. Once again, 
by repeating the same DAX calculation, following the same logic, and changing the filter to a specific category or social media channel, it will apply the conditional formatting to each card. And just like I mentioned in the previous video, to unify all conditional formatting contained in each column, a very simple DAX expression is all that's required. First, we need to change the field we want the format to be based on. Let's choose the new unified measure to apply the conditional formatting to both the background and font color so that it unifies the entire column. Now, Simply repeat the same steps to apply the same rules and colors to the rest of the columns. We can remove the value column, which I use merely as reference. And here is a little trick that will improve the look and feeling, simply by adjusting the text size. Keep in mind, we can't remove the row value column, otherwise we'll lose all conditional formatting. But we can hide it. And now, we can amplify the row channel column. Next, to make the multi scorecard dynamic, we are always contained in the table for each category or, in this case, for each social media channel. To unify the results, we'll create another DAX measure that will return the number 1 if data is detected or it will return a zero if no data is detected. To use the measure we just created, let's first expand the filters pane and then drag the measure from the fields pane over to the filters pane and drop it into the section labeled filters on this visual. And then we'll use advanced filtering found under the filter type. Let's show items when the value is not and then enter zero. And lastly, apply filter. Our dynamic multi-scorecard matrix is almost ready. It only needs one more but very important element, a legend. This will help users to understand the color indicators bringing a clear message to the entire visualization. This is truly a fundamental step in good data visualization and a basic practice you should never forget. Stay tuned and keep watching for more tips and tricks in upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to receive notifications. Make me feel happy by giving an awesome like if you found this series very useful. I'm Miguel Myers and I'll be back in the next video.